If you go straight from D to P, you've been doing it wrong and didn't even know. Check this out. If you do it like I used to, you're in D, coming from the street, market, or work. You get in your car, put it in P, and pull the handbrake. You're doing it wrong. Here's the deal, guys. You're putting all the car's weight on the gearbox. You have no idea how bad that is over time, wearing down your gearbox. That's why sometimes, even after a short while, your car already needs maintenance, costing you a fortune. Let me show you the right way to do it, which no one talks about because it's not in the expert's interest, so you can avoid this kind of wear on your gearbox, all right? While you're at it, tell me what city you're tuning in from. I'd love to know, and let me know if you're all about easy tips like this one. Here we go. You're in D, drive, moving. So you're coming from the street and need to stop your car. Stop the car, put your foot on the brake pedal, then put it in N, neutral. Now pull the handbrake. Notice that when you take your foot off the brake, the car shifts all the weight to the handbrake because the gearbox is in neutral. Now you press the brake again, put it in P, and turn off the car. If you do it the wrong way, when you switch gears, the gearbox jerks because all the weight was on it. Doing it this way is much smoother, and you'll avoid these kinds of problems with the gearbox. Look how smoothly it goes, no jerking. So, it's really simple. I'll do it again. You're in D, driving, and need to stop. Put your foot on the brake pedal, put it in N, and pull the handbrake. Take your foot off the brake, press it again, put it in P, and turn off the car. This way, you'll avoid the wear and tear because the car's weight will be on the handbrake, not the gearbox, preventing damage and reducing wear. A quick tip that not many people talk about because it's not in the car manufacturer's or mechanic's interest. They want it to brake so you have to go there, replace it, and do maintenance on the gearbox, right? Try this at home, and I'm sure it'll help you avoid big problems with your gearbox.